Welcome back. Today in video number four, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup with our aim offset and we're going to um, talk a little bit about why we're not going to use the yaw for our camera. So um, if you've missed the previous three videos, you can always uh, come back into um, YouTube and take a look at my channel, you, Paul Fritz Animation, and get caught up on those. You can also check it out for things about with Maya 3D modeling. I have a few things in there for Unity. I'll be doing a little bit more in Unity here shortly. So go ahead, come on back, check a few times. Um, subscribe if you like what you see. So let's go ahead and uh, talk a little bit more about our um, actual issues that we're having here inside of Unreal Engine and our aim offset. You may have noticed that there are some kind of crazy little things happening. So let's go ahead and go and talk about that now. So here with my character in my idle aim offset, you see that my character is pointing forward. Velika is pointing forward. And if I move this around, she adjusts around like she's supposed to. Now, we're not gonna see all of this with, our, uh, with the way our character is set up, um, unless they're standing still. When they're running, we're not gonna see most of this. So, um, but we do want to make sure that we have a smooth blend from our aim offset while they're running so that it makes sense when they're aiming in different directions that it looks like they're aiming in the correct direction and that the aim point for the weapon will actually come out from the tip of the gun instead of from the center point of our screen. So we'll get into that when we get to our weapon setup. But uh, initially, um, with our aim offset, it also plays a little bit into that. Okay. So um, the difference between this and the way we set up our character with the, um, let me go ahead in here and find it. So um, that's here, it's under blueprints, pawns, our character, and then under our animation for our character, we have the, um, Get that right? Let me find it. Sorry. This is the one that, um, no, that's the one I got open already. I think this is the blend space I want for Lieutenant Bellic. I'm trying to remember which one. All right. So this is our, um, eight, our offset here. This is the actual blueprint. So that's not the one I want. This is the one right here. All right. So this is the one that we set up for our character so that when their character is running, our different ways that our character is facing is taken into consideration. Then we have this idle all along down here when they're stopped. Now notice that this idle, she's pointing exactly the same way that she is in the aim offset that we had set up. All right. So that is something that uh, I didn't really talk about last time. When I told you to set it up, you could have told you, yeah, just find any idle that you want. Some of the characters have a lot of different idols in here. Kind of cool. And I think I went with the hero one just to kind of demonstrate that. And that is, um, let me go ahead and show what it looks like here. It's your hero, select idle. So with this one, basically what she's doing is she's got her weapon down, uh, down low. It's not at the ready position and she's kind of looking around and it was kind of cool. But then when running around, um, of course it drops that and our character is supposed to run. But between the blending of this idle like this, and the actual run position and holding of the weapon, it doesn't mesh well with the idle, uh, with the aim offset that we did for the blend space for the aim offset. So what basically happens is that she's running with her weapon down in this kind of semi-relaxed position like this, and our aim offset is all over the place. So we wanna make sure that when we pick an aim offset, we pick the idle position for our character here in our initial setup, that we pick the one that is going to work best between moving from this idle position and our aim offset. And if I go back in and find my aim offset, which is really buried down in here again. So content characters. And then it's inside of animations and then the aim offset because I just use their stock aim offset. I could always move this into the other folder and make it a little bit easier. We can see there she is, she's aiming that direction. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about our camera yaw, okay, and our pitch here. So initially, when we put all of our blueprinting together and we did our event graph here, 
we set it up so that we have this camera yaw option right here. And then we also have this variable down here that we created for our camera yaw. But we didn't um, use it. And you're probably wondering why. Well, the reason why we didn't hook this up is, uh, and I may have showed you that it didn't really kind of work out the way we wanted to. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a demo real quick. You don't need to follow along with this, but I'm gonna connect my yaw right here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and compile it, save it. Go back in and hit play on my character. And initially it looks pretty good. When I'm standing here, she's twisting, she's turning. It's looking pretty decent, right? But if I look over from the top, you can see there's my aim. My aim offset's working correctly because I have her in that idle, in that forward idle position, the ready idle position. But when I rotate too far to one direction, she's gonna keep moving and then she snaps back the other way. The other problem we run into with using this is when I run, she doesn't necessarily look correct all the time. It's not so bad right there, but when we're doing this, we get this snapping back and forth. We really don't want that snapping look and so we're not going to use the yaw for that. Um, and the other thing is that the aim point gets kind of messed up with the weapon. It kind of stays forward from her and shoots in kind of odd directions. So we're just going to stay away from using the, uh, the yaw in this one, not the yaw, uh, the yaw. And I'm um, going to go ahead and go back. I'm going to take this off. We're going to delete it. Um, so that variable we may not even have needed, but um, hey, that's all right. We'll leave it in there for right now. The other thing I want to do is in our event graph here for this video, we're going to go ahead and finish connecting up this piece right here. It's not going to be functional yet, but it's going to uh, get us started so that we don't have to come back and fix this because we still have to set up the, con set up the actual um, conditions and everything for dead uh, and then hook the animations in. But we can at least get this part started. There's no way to test the death sequence yet. Um, because we can't kill our character yet. She has no health. Um, so we'll come back and fix all of that up when we get that far along. But let's go ahead and um, actually make it so that our character, we can hook this piece up and finish this up. So let's, what we're going to do is we're going to come back in here to our blueprint for Bellica here. And um, make sure that I'm checking my notes real quick. And what we want to do is in our actual um, character blueprint, we're going to create a new variable down here, okay? But first we need to create a function that's going to work. And we're going to come right here where it says function. We're going to add a function, okay? And this function is going to be called is alive, okay? It can be one word, two words, whatever you want to make it, but it's going to start off with this, okay? And is alive is the opposite of is dead, right? So, um, but I told you we needed a dead variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, make use of a boolean to make this not true. So for our variables down here, uh, what we want to do is we're going to add another variable. Okay, it's going to be a boolean, and this one's going to be called dead. Okay, and we're going to make sure that's a boolean, so it needs to be this red one right here, and. This needs to be a, and click back on here. So right here, we're going to select this. We want to make sure it's pure and it's a const, okay? And then um, we also need to have a return node on this one. So we're going to go ahead and right click, type in return, and we want to add a return node, okay? And select the return node. Go ahead and compile this real quick. Select our return node. Okay, and for our outputs, um, and we'll come back to that in a second. We can just do it this way. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out our dead. We're gonna get dead. And then we're gonna make this not true. So we're gonna pull out from there, type in not, and we want a not Boolean. So it should be this big old not right there. We connect these up to here. I'm going to connect this up as a return value so you can just kind of add it in there. It'll add a place node for us. And if I select it, you'll see that uh, it should be a return value, Boolean. And that is all there is to this one. Let's see here. Make sure we've covered everything. It should be public. It should be pure. 
It should be public and pure. It is, okay. And don't forget to the little down arrow and make it constant right here. And now we're gonna go ahead and compile and save it. And we're gonna come back in here and now we should be able to pull off of here and type in dead. And we should be able to get the variable get dead. So now it should say target dead. Okay. And now we should just be able to connect all this up. Like I said, it's not functional right now, but we at least have this piece connected in. So all of our blueprinting for this particular one is done. All right, so that should be good so far. All right, now then, let's go ahead and save this, compile it and save it, make sure everything's still working. Again, should be no, no changes, but you can see when I aim down, I aim up, everything looks pretty good. She rotates instead of doing that kind of cool movement to the left and the right, but um, that ties in much better with the way our character moves in combat anyway, as we're running along. So it should be, should be okay. All right, so that's it for this video. Like I said, it was gonna be kind of short. Um, just really wanted to do a little bit of cleaning up and doing a little bit of explaining about the differences in our aim offset, uh, idle aim offset, and some of the other things that are happening with our character and kind of clean up that, uh, that one animation blueprint for this location right here for it for is dead. Okay, so um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. If you like what you saw, please like my video. And again, um, go ahead and if you like uh, what I'm doing, and you want to get more updates and kind of follow along, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you then.